We are agreeing to do a popular initiative as the Gen Zs and as Kenyans who are patriotic and who love this nation. We need to rethink that constitution. We need to go through that constitution. There are laws in that constitution that do not make sense to us. Why do, why, why, why do we need to have corruption cases going all through to seven years? Evans Kidero was alleged, was taken to court which year? He has not been convicted or acquitted. Mike Sonko, which year? Ferdinand Waititu, which year? And the cases before them. Can we reduce that time to six months? They have shown us, the courts and the National Assembly, that they can deal with matters expeditiously and fastidiously if they want to. They impeached Gashago in less than two weeks. If they want to deal with matters, corruption, they can deal with that. We need to talk about that law. We need to talk about this popular initiative. And we need to reason as this is, it is pure comedy and pure jokes to stand here and tell us how stupid we are as Africans because you think Indians are superior than us. It is pure comedy. It's theatrics to tell us that we have to give our airport to Indians because they are more sensible. We are as sensible as the Indians are. We are as sensible as the Europeans are. They just got more civilized when we were not civilized. We've gotten to that point. We've leveled up. Anybody who is telling you that you should hate your skin as a black person because you feel you are not as you feel inferior and you feel you are not at par with the Indians and the Europeans, you th that person is misleading you. Indians are 1.6 billion. Wakifunga mkojo wakojwe at one time. Ni flood now of Kenya. It's a flood. It's a flood. Those are 1.6 billion liters of urine. Ijivanji, it is not a Kikuyu name. Niamula Maljibai Jivanji. He's an Indian. Ige kwa ya mkikuyu ya munge kwa mna kapa. Ige kwa yifungwa kitambo ikaenda. Na wange kwa mea kapa hoteli, pale ni kwa kutuangiana manyundo, unapakea mabibi pale nini, pale ni kuna swimming pool, huku kuna kapa. This is our hotel. So if Gashagwa survives, it will prove that our laws work. Asante, Asante sana, Asante sana. Uh, I can see, I can see, I can see the microphones are so many today, so I don't understand. But me na ito NRM, NRM ina manisha National Resistance Movement. We go where people don't go, where there are dangerous things. That is where we go. Where we are prohibited to go, that is where we go. So we always swim against the tide. When the currents are so heavy, that is when we dive into the pool. So, we are going to say that we are going to say that Adani Adani is a done deal. The, the rest, you can go and try to read. Because, by the way, when you have a project of Adani, you have a project of project of thousands of pages. Come away with this mama to up for five minutes. Uta concentrate kusoma kitu two weeks. Na uelewe. Na uelewe. You cannot. Now what I can tell you, these are usually very complex issues. Raila Molo Dinga, Babu Ataifa, the most merciful, the most gracious, uh, the flame of freedom, the political enigma. Alipitia iyo. Engineer. Alipitia iyo karatasi ya kangalia vile imagandikuwa. <laughs> <laughs> and then Zaza, Bane Ekwelewa, Akasema, this thing is good. And if he has endorsed it, Atna Kumbuka Kunakati Uru Adikwa Meseme Gara Atindege Iritaka Siji Kwa Anguka, Akenda Hapa Dubai, Akarudi. Raila Alikuwa Mepita Yo Barabara Akienda China. So Penye Raila Mepita Nipata Katifu. Ndege Ezi Taka Kwa Angushwa Penye Raila Mesha Pita. So Uru was going for his own drama. Vida Nimesikia Saiza Mepere Kwa Atia Bijo Kutoka About Peace. And yet, ye ye ndiyo alikuwa naeka our fellow Somalis, our fellow Kenyans, kwa concentration camp hapa. Na tu, yenye, otieno kajuangi ya kwa rinya kwa mbali kwa nasema mbom, mbom, mbom. Wakati wake, ku hold country hostage, alikuwa natumia mbom, 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 mbom. Saizi at least Arab Ruto, anakupatia mudiscuss two issues in parks. Ye yake likuwa ni mbom, 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 na kueka wa Kenya wetu kwa concentration camps ya tika sarani. Now we are saying this. Wewe kujua mambo kunisiuliza at foreigners ana handle mambo ya ndege aje. It is foreigners who fly. 
I've not seen many of you flying. <laughs> it is foreigners who fly. Sasa. In addition to yes. Ethiopia, yeah. which are the first uh, African airlines yeah. in East Africa yeah. in 1940. Yeah. 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 Now listen, it is foreigners who handle these matters. So let me tell you this. You get into a radar. Yandege, the ndege itoke point A to point B. Ina controli wana vitu za satellite. Sinjaya yona mulu ya yota metuma satellite uko ju. But you want public participation. Kuambi wa vire ndege itakuwa inatoka New York. Ina, niki kuuliza airways. Izo airways. Penye ndege inabidia ziko wapi. We unajua tu barabara ya kuenda kakamega shumalavan. Let me tell you my brothers. These matters are very complex. Uyo pilot ndi akaya hapo ndani anendesha yu dreamliner. Siyo biyashara yako we. Uweke undaka kupatua. Uwafanya public participation. Do you know how. Wametangereza na fabric gani yu dreamliner. These are duty free shops. Sisi natoka huko. Karibu. If you ask most of these people. Have you ever applied to get a duty free shop at the airport. No one tells you about it. Do they not even know what a duty free shop is. So ndugu zangu. These are complex issues. Na maswala. Yangoso mwachie ngoso mwenyewe. These are very complicated issues. Ukitaka kwanza kuuliza, my friend, countries like uh, um, uh, Congo, Congo Kinshasa, they are going to be using airlines to travel from one place to another. But what Arab Ruto wants to put with this uh, ni five star airport. Madini mweneza kwa mnauza amukiwa hapa. What happens in Dubai airports? You can do gold auction hapa. That is where Ruto is seeing but you know what an old man sees what you are, when you are sit when he's seated at all pandisho you ya coconut tree you never see so we don't blame you mtoto akiwa mgonjwa wanga analia kidungwa shindano sasa ila anapona anafurai so what i can tell you for free is this these are complex issues matters za international security zitakuwa kwa hiyo airport you can never handle matters of international security you 50 million nyinyi I've told you kwamba Indians are 1.6 billion. Wakifunga mkojo wakojoe at one time. Ni flood na sweep Kenya. It's a flood. It's a flood. Those are 1.6 billion liters of urine. Ijivanji, it is not a kikuyu name. Niamula Maljibai Mjivanji he's an indian ingekuwa ya mkikuyu ya mungekuwa mnakaa hapa ingekuwa ifungwa kitambo ikaenda na angekuwa ameka hapa hoteli pale ni kwa kutuangiana manyundo unapekea mabibi pale nini pale kuna swimming pool huku kuna car park this is a hotel a five star hotel ina miti paka kitambo but huyu muindi akawaachia mnaweza kaa hapa where i'm standing here was the statue of queen victoria ilikuwa anga hapa na statue ya Jivanji kwa pale. Mumetangenezewa hii nyoka imezunguka pale. Kienda paka kule. It is because they are Indian. This country was begun by Indians. Mkwa kabila enu munasianga munaita rupi. Sisi kwa waluyo tunaita rupia. Si rupia. Si rupia it is rupi from India. All those people who studied law. They studied law. The quotations were kwa nafanya citations the cases. All of them were in the law of India. Wale wame kuwa kuwa pa miyaka fulani, mulisoma vitabu za mathematics, Malkiat Singh. That one is a luo. Now, why do we want to bring another luo to get people out of their skins and hides, and you, uh, another Indian, and you don't want it? Dugu Zangu, let me tell you this. We shall not engage in a lot of public participation with people who don't even know their own names. <laughs> Where you kuita hapa, unajita John. Unajita nani? John ni jina ya mkikuyu. At, at, my friend, you are not even natives. I've only seen Miguna Miguna, who is an African. I've seen Raila Odinga, Babu Ataifa, the most merciful, the most gracious, Babu Ataifa. Regarde Gashagwa. Regarde Gashagwa. So, what I'm telling you is this. They even came here and removed and gave you names. Atujiata, zingirata ni wanyama wajabu wako Africa, but you call yourself John. Bull. Which type of bull? Now listen to me good. Let Adani come and bring some light here. These are people who have gone up to the moon. 
They are now going to mass. Wewe unatafuta fare ya kwenda kari yako saa hizi. We cannot argue with someone like you. Tumesema wacha wale wameenda mwezi let them bring a small light. And in the book of Caucasian chok sako ya battles brash. Alisema what there is should go to those who are good at it. Children to the motherly so that they can be raised well. Carts to good drivers so that can be driven well. The fields to the waterers so that they can bear fruit. And that is why I'm telling you that Adani is the best deal for you because you cannot provide us with 90 billion. Sasa nikiwaambia mtoe hata fare ya huyu ndugu yangu aende naye nyumbani hamuna but he has brought us 90 billion free of charge atengeneze pale and 95 billion. And then ajenge ka inchi muanze kuona muangaza. And by the way, tukitoka hapo we want him to take more deals. After all you created for us an expressway going nowhere. The expressway guys with Mercedes Benz Range Rover works fashion hiyo mnaitanga Volkswagen that is German it's supposed to be works fashion i awako huko juu wako huko chini so ndugu zangu we shall talk about Rigathe Gashagwa's case next time because Rigathe must stay so that when he stays akika the Kenyan loyalty shimika because you cannot remove people here any time you want the law protects them hiyo ndio vile dunia itatuona and our kenyan professors will go to those countries to write constitutions of those countries to let pinchi to mechoka kama tukina mali aku wakes up in the morning in the evening there is another general and everyone is now here in kenya ruto saizi can even go to samoa for the commonwealth gov- uh, meeting and no one will will shake him because the laws are strong investors can come here waweke investment yao hakuna mtu anamtisha because Uh, where is it already happened this laws protect you so if gashagwa survives it will prove that our laws work i rest my case thank you very much senior bunge power wananchi power wewe jamaa umetoka sijui jina lake lakini nrm is a very popular member nrm you are a new member ni sawa ni sawa no ni sawa ni sawa I am saying he can make a good comedian and a good joker. That is very demeaning member. Because what he has No. What he has given us is pure No. There is nothing to withdraw. There is nothing to withdraw. Aya. Ni sawa. Aya. Wacha ni withdraw ni, ni wafurahishe. Aya. Let me tell you. This is it is pure comedy and pure jokes to stand here and tell us how stupid we are as Africans because you think Indians are superior than us. It is pure comedy. It's theatrics to tell us that we have to give our airport to Indians because they are more sensible. We are as sensible as the Indians are. We are as sensible as the Europeans are. They just got more civilized when we were not civilized. We've gotten to that point. We've leveled up. Anybody who is telling you that you should hate your skin as a black person because you feel you are not as you feel inferior and you feel you are not at par with the Indians and the Europeans, you th- that person is misleading you. There is no race that is more intelligent than the other. There is no color that is more intelligent and sensible than the other. We are we are engineers, we are doctors, we are lawyers and we are better than those Indians. We are better than those Europeans and we are getting there. We've had challenges with capital. We've had challenges with corrupt countries that are so repressive. We cannot really get to have the best industries with the repressive economies we have in Africa. But we will get there. We will get there. We are good we are we are good. We are good as technological experts just like the Indians. We make better pilots. We make the same pilots, the same cadre of pilots the Indians make. We we make the same uh, cadre of engineers and technocrats that the Indians make. We are the same. There is just a difference in color, but we are the same. So it is pure jokes here to malign an entire race just because you think you are inferior, just because you are black. It is nonsense and pure gibberish. I am going to say here categorically that we do not need to give our airport to Adani. The 238 billion that you think we cannot raise, we can raise it as a country in phases. Sio lazima tufanye upgrading ya the JKIA airport at once. 
we can do that every year mwaka hii hii pesa mwaka hiyo hii pesa kuna pesa mingi inaibiwa hii Kenya we have the money and you see during when Opio and I is vetting he said he is going to solicit development partners to fund the transmission of power in western Kenya and that is what exactly they have done probably you already knew that Adani has been proposed to take over our Ketrako and you see he did not waste time to sign that deal with Ketrako and let me tell you this is the reason why they are not doing public participation for the Adani deals because under the public procurement and disposal act of 2007 section 111a of the specially permitted procurement procedure model they are using that loophole to get into contracts that is government to get into contracts that they do not have to disclose to the public contracts that are not oversighted and regulated by the procurement regulatory authority i am not blabbing i know what i am saying they are using this as a loophole to enter into contracts that they will not do public participations for it is nonsense and we need to annul that law we need to revisit that constitution and that is why i'm proposing a popular initiative i have a referendum i am driving i as james mulamba on how we can oversight the independent commissions we have in this country on how we can go back and amend that procurement law and on how we can think of reducing the term limits from seven years or five years whatever they are proposing to three years if you cannot deliver in five years you cannot deliver with seven years if you kiasi tu nikimalizia they have donated two minutes mr speaker one minute one minute one minute one minute one minute one minute and under article 257 of the constitution of kenya which i am using as my main frame for the popular initiative i am proposing which i have already discussed with okio mtata today i was at kicc today for the public participation under that premise of uh, article 257 we are agreeing to do a popular initiative as the gen z's and as kenyans who are patriotic and who love this nation we need to rethink that constitution we need to go through that constitution There are laws in that constitution that do not make sense to us. Why do why, why why do we need to have corruption cases going all through to seven years? Evans Kidero was alleged was taken to court which year? He has not been convicted or acquitted. Mike Sonko which year? Ferdinand Waititu which year? And the cases before them. Can we reduce that time to six months? They have shown us the courts and the national assembly that they can deal with matters expeditiously and fastidiously if they want to. They impeached Gashagwa in less than two weeks. If they want to deal with matters corruption they can deal with that. We need to talk about that law. We need to talk about this popular initiative and we need to reason as Kenyans. Thank you very much. Asante sana. Bunge power. Wananchi power. Tunyamaze kidogo. Nyamaze kidogo. Nyamaze kidogo. Nikimalizia anasema hivi. Nikimalizia anasema hivi. Nikimalizia anasema hivi. Acha tumalizie. Sisi kama Gen Z sisi kama Gen Z tunafaa turudi streets Tusikizane hapa Tusikizane hapa Tusikizane hapa Eh eh tusikizane hapa Tusikizane hapa Unaweza nyamazisha hao watu 30 seconds 30 seconds 30 seconds wananchi power bunge power wananchi power tusikizane hapa tusikizane hapa mimi nasema hivi sisi kama Gen Z Tukianza kufikiria mambo ya kupeleka hii country mbele tuanze na kufikiria vile tutafanya petitions tuanze kufikiria vile tutapush for a popular initiative tuanze kufikiria vile tutarudi street 
tume tumeshaona hawa jamaa lugha wanasikia ni asisi kwenda street sasa morara anawaambia muende naro kufanya nini turudi streets hakuna kitu kingine tutapata hawatasikiza hapa bunge tumeongea siku ngapi Ah, wanaskiaga hizi vitu si ati hawaskiagi they consume the content that comes from this honorable house but they do not act on what we say and they do not have the motivation government has no motivation to do what is right unless pushed by the people and we are going to push them let us work towards that let us work towards a popular initiative let us work towards giving this government sleepless nights with petitions left right let us go back to the street they will not listen to us and they will not give us that audience we want and they are paying lip service to us okay sawa okay sawa sawa sema hivi nataka tuongee hiki mambo haraka haraka sisi wa Kenya tunasema hivi unaona hii energy tuko nayo hii energy ni mzuri lakini hii energy atu, kama sisi wa Kenya hatufai kuweka one sided itafai kwa nini anything that's attached at, uh, uh, nini affecting our country we should be uniform si kama ile ikikuwa kwa hii so community au mikuwa kwa hii community ndio unakuwa na hii energy for example just recently here Mulikuwa mnaona miguna mguna was being deported uh, kama aende Canada na ni mkenya. Now all of you you didn't have this energy. Hiyo siku alikuwa from a certain community. Sasa hivi unapiga makofi. The second one. Ile siku wa Kenya walikuwa wameamua kwamba let's not uh, vote according to our feelings. We voted and tunasema ni Mungu. Kwa nini sasa hivi mnakataa mambo ya Mungu? Mnyinyi pia muombe Mungu msamaha. Three. Kuna siku mwingine wengine walikuwa wameletwa hapa alikuwa anaitwa machinaries aturu mara kasi yani aturu mara gaiani did you communicate did you act the way you are acting now because he was affected in a certain community why when it comes to national issues mna kwanga mmenyamaza lakini kama mmekuja kusasa home mnaleta shida kama sisi wa kikuyu so that's why mimi nasema hivi my fellow kenyan just a minute it is high time una hii energy hakuna sahi a thing stand by Hakuna mtu amependa William Samoei Ruto as the president because he promised a lot lakini hajafanya but tuna sahi tuna support so that some of us are kwa na political manners because I'm very sure sahi kama wa Kenya wanaza sema sahi wataki Ruto you will go back to Ruto that's why tunataka ujinga yenu sikuwa huko tena I'm very sure sahi kama wa Kenya maamua sana wana support William Samoei Ruto our brothers from central watarudi kwa Ruto tena that is their nature always they don't want to go grow with the Kenyans wanakonga special the other way at the mountain <laughs> Mwende ngani ile siku ile siku tulikuwa na shida kwani ilikuwa ni lake. Yeah so sasa hii we are not happy we are just trying to punish you so that we reason together. Unakumbuka ile ngoma yetu gera itene. Hiyo ngoma ndio sasa uhakisho sasa hii ndio tusikie tena. Because si ndio tulisema ya muka asubuhi tupige kura. Lazima tukua na political manners. So that's why mimi nasema hii my fellow Kenyans mpaka ile siku tulikuwa na manners. Gen Z walikuja hapa kuwasaidia. Si you rubbish them. Sindio mliwafukuza mkaweka gashagwa ni gashagwa si gashagwa GNZ gashagwa So sahi buda hiyo ring iko sawa nataka hivi wacha siyo hata Ruto aweke 100 years so that tukua na manners tuki grow si watu wengine wanakuwa wajanja wengine wanakuwa mafala tuko mafala wote ama tuko wajanja wote asanteni sana I am the last member and I'm here to inform and I'm informing from a point of knowledge not from a point of lack The good book tells me that my people are suffering for, because they are lacking knowledge. When we are talking matters corruption is not matters constitution it's matters legislation. We are not lacking good laws in our country to tell us that you are going for a referendum unless you want to destabilize the country. My brother I want to inform you that we have good laws anti money laundering laws. We have very good anti corruption bills that are that are existing. Taking it long they in being ineffective. Being in ineffective does not mean that we don't have a law. I'm saying being in ineffective does not mean that we lack a law. My friend we are not giving back and forth. Coming to six months is not the solution. It is not the solution. I want to tell you something. Listen on to me. I'm informing you from a point of knowledge. I'm informing you from a point of knowledge. And one thing I'm wondering the other day I was told by my grandfather that they didn't have technology but they raised doctors and lawyers you have technology 
you are raising TikToks. These clothes used to come from Kikomi. This cotton used to be brought, used to be grown here in Kenya. Today he's talking too much English and he can produce nothing. The only people we are producing for the university are for the labor market. That's a fact. That's a fact. I can't withdraw. The current chairman of Safaricom, Naniskiza, the current chairman of Safaricom, they went to Abu Dhabi. There they met with the, 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 the leader of the Islamic Bank of Abu Dhabi. It was said, Ata mwenyalikuwa nasimamia ulinzi ya rais William Ruto wakati huo kama naibu wa rais. Akuweza kujua kwa masanga, kuna masaa Ruto wali disappear for some time before he came back. Na ata the president alikuja kuuliza where is the deputy president. Remember then there was a lot of fracas. They, they were trying to keep tabs on him. But there alikuwa meenda huko with his personal lawyer. The, he is an animesema, the CEO of Safaricom right now. Not only that, the man is also a managing partner of uh, Dam Damington and Matthews, the said uh, law firm, the biggest law firm in the country where the son of President William Ruto works, Nick Ruto, and the same uh, law firm that is representing Adani. Remember Adani today in Mepelekwa Kule, Sosa, the Supreme Court, the judiciary, where they are supposed to now appear before the court to answer now they won this tender, whether the, the process of acquiring the tenders that they have in the country was competitive. Now, I assure you, the said lawyers of the said the said firm, ambayo inamilikiwa na rafiki wa kiti cha kwanza wa rais William Ruto, itakuwa kule ikiweza kumwakilisha and then you tell us we should sit down and support that, yeah, whatever Baba says is good or whatever Nani says is good. That is typical nonsense and let's not buy that crap. And another thing, when we come to the issue of impeachment, our brothers and sisters, uh, the, 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 the issue of tribal talks and all that is something that the Kikuyu people are saying now they, 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 they want to embrace. But let me remind you one thing. The Mount Kenya region does not comprise of the Kikuyu people. It comprises of Meru, Embu, and the Rakanyidi people. And when you come to combine those votes, the, 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 other, the, the, the other people who refer to themselves as the frontiers of the Mount Kenya region, uh, our Fiki is Okura is our Meru, our Embu, and the Raka. Let me tell you one thing. And since the time in memorial, when, when the independence of this country was being fought for, hmm, the, 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 we only have Akinadeda and Kemadi Rons about the representative of the Mount Kenya region. Tell me of General Mwaria Marod in Nairobi County, of General uh, Baimungi. They were the ones that took the lead after Kemadi's death, but they have never been recognized. But night now, when one of the Meru brothers, you, you call them your brothers and sisters, gets a position because something has happened and the impeachment has happened, you want to oppose that and you want to plug the country in whatever madness you feel like. No, we cannot buy that. <laughs> I rest my case. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. If we can get 10 debaters like that, I think we'll go ahead. You can wait for 10 debaters. Two minutes, you Two minutes. 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 Two a bunge that is supposed to represent citizens. Bunge la mwananchi, tuko hapa tukiongea kabila. It's high time, saa hii tuonyeshe mfano mzuri kwa wale wengine. In fact, kuna seme kananga, we get, we are the reflection of the leaders we elect. Vile watu wanaongea hapa kuhusu kabila, it's nonsensical. It's high time, at least, mutu tafuta point, but talking on behalf of tribe. Kama vile muna niwana mini tribeless. Of course, I have a sense of where penye penye ni metoka. But that doesn't mean that I will carry my tribe wherever I go. I interact with all Kenyans wherever I go. For example, Dereva wa matatu wakiwa pale stage, hachagui ni abiria kabila gani wataingia kwa gari yake. Ata landlord. Ata landlord akiwa pale, ana 
chukua wapangaji aina yote kwa sababu wote ni wa Kenya hata daktari hatibu kabila yake even politicians when they are seeking elective posts they don't go for the tribes only you see so this mentality of tribal affiliation all the time it's high time we come and say not wait in fact i have an initiative called hashtag kick tribalism out of the country now because in in 61 years since independence tuko hapa tunaongea tribe ni very unfortunate remember it took rwanda a genocide for them to come together as one people and once they eradicated tribe that's when they are moving forward towards progression as a nation so what we are saying now can we forge forward as one people ndio hata tuweze kuargue kuhusu corruption yenye iko the biggest all the ills that ails the nation now it's tribalism nepotism and corruption the very moment you deal with tribalism because that's the elephant in the room in the room that's when you will be manage to fight nepotism and also corruption so i call upon you all members of bunge can you come together and forge forward as one united people na hii ufala ya ukabila in 21st century it's octogenarian it's nonsensical and it's not applicable unaona kwa siasa ya sahii sasa haya nyinyi mkisema kuhusu ukabila agency atasema aje na amezaliwa na kabila tofauti you see that's why i'm saying next week god willing we will have a launch we have tried to partner with NIC National Cohesion and Integration Commission and uh, we formulate or we make formal the launch of hashtag kick tribalism out of the republic now it's a civic education yenye inafaa move each and every county 47 county so what we are expecting is to have road shows road shows am a road trip tukikuja kwa county yetu yenu wewe tukaribishe na sisi tuta tutaongelea kuhusu madhara ya ukabila ukionge ukiambia mtu wa Rift Valley sahi kuhusu ukabila na anajua vile kulikuwa tu seven my friend eh yeah? hawezi kubali kitu kama hiyo so let's forge forward as one united people because it's only when we fight tribalism we will forge forward to fight corruption thank you thank you very much pole pole thank you very much debate inaenda juu sasa wacha tusikie wise council si ndio wise council wacha nikuchikie <coughs> bunge habari zenu ana naomba salamu now i'm shocked i'm shocked to, to, i'm shocked to hear a kenyan I'm shocked to hear a Kenyan coming here to talk about his tribe. Because when I as I said the other day, when I look at the age of you people, you are 21st century and late 21st century. You should not be talking about tribes. If my own father my own father my late father never thought about a tribe and married a masai my grandfather sorry married a masai and my father married a taita and i am married from tanzania okay why should we be talking about tribes that makes me so sad and that is why we cannot move forward because we think about our tribes a tribe will not take you anywhere is an identity that's all and that's why if you go to the streets of dar es salaam and you find two kenyans and they come from the same tribe they'll be talking their native language and you'll hear tanzanians say how ni wa how ni wa kenya because you'll find two chagas even in rombo kilimanjaro they are talking in kiswahili and they are both chagas let us have an identity of being kenyans away from that let's go to economics of this country 
Okay. In Kenya, sorry to say so, I can see some people supporting the Adani deals. We should, we should go deeper like this young man has said. I know what is Adani. One, who is an investor? An investor is somebody who comes with his money. Comes with his money to develop. You have the land, he has the money. Here, we are giving the land to Adani to go and borrow money to develop the airport. So if he sits back and says, I'm not paying that debt, what will happen? Whenever he has borrowed the money, they have the title. What will they do? They will take over. If they want to sell it, or whatever they want to do with it, they can do it. That's collateral. So don't jump and say he's an investor. An investor, African Development Bank, had tendered for it. It was never done. That's their money they were using. Okay? Two, Ruto is a very cunning man. Very. He, in the procurement act, there is a part which nobody has ever used or ever read, which says the government can give a project without tendering. They have hidden behind that. To give all this to Adani, not tendering. When you question, look at that. So Adani can be anybody. Adani can be Ruto. Adani can be David D. Adani can be anybody. He's only fronting. Like we have the China Bridges and whatever company, Kenya Limited, which is supposed to be owning the expressway. Go back and you see that company is actually owned by Flamingo. It's owned by Flamingo group of companies. Who are the owners of Flamingo? I hope you all know. It's a Kenyatta family. So actually the express way you are paying the Kenyatta family. Not Chinese. It's only in quotes. And that's why it is called Kenya Limited. But the original company, the Chinese one, is not called that. They own in the Kenya company 20%. 80% is owned by Flamingo. So, what Kenyatta did, Ruto is doing it 10 times. He is taking the airport himself and telling you it's a company called Adani doing it. Kentraco, where did we hear it being tendered? Who can tell me when it was tendered? Nobody. All of a sudden, you heard Kentraco has been given to Adani group of companies. The health, all we knew is the system was supposed to be developed by this company and this company, Kenyan companies. And all of a sudden, we hear now Adani has come in. And even the cost has gone up. Let us think twice before we come here as members, honorable members, to support something we are not, we don't know anything about it. Let us be clear with what we are doing. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, our elder. Our elder is very informative. Okay, thank you. It's very informative. Nivile tuwa janini. Sauti ndio ilikuwa nini? Eh, but if you are in our group, WhatsApp group, wao wataweka huko. So kama huko unaweza nipatie namba yako nikuongeze huko. Tuko kwa WhatsApp zile vile tumeongea bado tutaona pale pale. You are living? Sauti, you are living?
Eh? And we are we are proceeding. Mm. And you feel the keyword? You are right. Okay, sir. No, but I want to see my delay. So, uh, sema kidogo, sergeant. Oh. Hindi uh. obunge, sergeant, atama na ongea kama mbunge. Bunge na wana inji ni omali, sergeant, atama na ongea. Situ jifike mea makofu. Standing order, Mr. Speaker. Eh, tutangalia, lakini bunge na wana inji ni obunge. Bunge peke yake, sergeant, atama na ongea. Speaker, speaker, you are making noise. <laughs> Asante sana wanabunge. Vile mnajua jina yangu inaitwa Umosh YY. Na mnajua tu. Mimi kitu yenye nataka kusema hapa leo ni kitu ya muhimu, si vile mnafikiria. Yeah. Yu naona hapa watu wamesimama hapa kuongea maneno ya tribalism, oh, wakikuyu, wajaluo, wasivi. Naruto anataka term limit iongezwe wewe kama mkenya bado unafikiria mjaluo mkikuyu ama asijui ameru my friend fellow kenyan up to when mutasikia maneno mutasikia maneno lini hii maneno ya tribalism tuachane nayo at the moment wewe bado unaongea wewe ni mkikuyu muko na mahali kila mahali Naruto anachukua airport na Adani Wa Kenya si tukuja tu pamoja tuongee lugha moja vile inafaa hizi vitu zenye leaders wanaweka tujaribu kufanya nini ku avoid ili watoto wetu na sisi tukue na njia mzuri hapa mbeleni lakini watu wengine watafurahi tu kama wame, nimesimama hapa naongea juu ya mkikuyu vibaya aanze kucheka lakini ujui kesho au leaders yenye tulielect pale wamechukua kila kitu mpaka wewe umebaki hata kuna kitu unaweza kula Lakini saa zingine lazima turudi nyuma tuangalie hii ukabila ilianza wapi? Eh? Ilianza wapi? Hiyo ndio kitu pia Mzee, mzee, mzee watakupea time. Hiyo pia lazima tuangalie hii ukabila ivua ilianza kutupiga na wapi? Lazima tuangalie hiyo. Ju mimi nilijua wakati wa Moi ndio ukabila ilijaa hii nchi. Lakini kufika tuo tu maparent wetu walipiga kura ya kufanya nini? Kutoa hiyo ukabila. Kuanzia hiyo tuo tu mpaka saa hii nini lirudisha ukabila hapa nchini? Lazima tujiulize hivyo. Hatuwezi kuwa tu watu wenye wanasema tumalize ukabila tumalize ukabila bila kuangalia hii ukabila ilianza wapi na nini limrudisha hii ukabila hapa nchini Lazima tuangalie kama brada yangu mkikuyu ndi ilianza hii maneno ya ukabila tena lazima tuambie bwana brada yetu mlituangusha hii hii wakati mlituangusha lakini saa hii lakini saa hii tunafaa tufanye nini Tukuje pamoja tutengeneze maneno inaendelea vibaya Kenya hapa Kenya. Lazima tuangalie pali, hii ukabila ilianza. <coughs> Tukishaangalia hivyo tutafanya nini? Tutafanya kazi kama wa Kenya na tutajenga nchi yetu kwa njia mzuri. Aya. Leo ilikuwa siku ya mwisho ya watu kuenda huko KICC. Wangapi walienda? Hakuna ni kama ni kama wachache tu walienda. Lakini hiyo kitu yenye ilikuwa inaendelea pale KICC ilikuwa kitu ya muhimu sana. We bado umeweka kichwa yako kuna mtu mwenye ataenda hapo kujitetea. Sisi kama wa Kenya tu lazima tukue serious na maisha yetu kama wa Kenya kama hatuwezi fanya hivyo hii maneno ya ukabila bado itaendelea tu asanteni sana thank you sergeant kwa kuhubiri amani <coughs>
Eh, eh, speaker uh, asante sana uh, na mimi leo nataka kusema mimi sitasema vitu inawafurahisha namjua hivyo na speaker mimi nataka kuongelea dani uh, nataka kuongelea rigiji former deputy president nataka kuongelea is seven term limit wacha naanza na dani adani yako na makosa gani Unajua mimi nikisikia hapa watu wakikuja hapa wanaanza kusema Adani Adani Ruto Adani my friend sometimes lazima ukae chini ujiorganize we mwenyewe utafute hiyo contract ya Adani ukae chini usome sawa sawa wacha hapa kuja na propaganda hii mnasikia unajua hapa jivanyi mita speaker wengine wanasikia kwa mdomo mwingine ati Adani ni mbaya yapi anakuja hapa kutuambia Adani ni mbaya Adani ni mbaya my friend Adani iko sawa na Adani itaendelea na vile wali sign na contract sasa wewe mkiambiwa tunaenda kukopa deni hata rais alisema jana 94 million muna, billion mnapiga kelele mkiambiwa hapa express highway ndio ile jengwa na kinauru kinyata hata nimesikia mzee akikuja hapa akiongea karibu nimwambie mzee lazima tu revisit hiyo hiyo miaka zako kwa sababu we are not want to deal with with, with, with rumors here we are not going to accept uh, assumptions here that unakuja hapa ku deal azizi kukuja kutuambia ati hii uhuru kinyata ati kampuni ya uhuru kinyata come with facts utuambie kampuni ya kampuni ya kina uhuru kinyata ni hii na hii na hii na nilisikia those are not facts kuja hapa na document utuambie kuja utuambie ya, ya pili ya pili nilisema nitasema viti wafurahishi my friend ayo furahishi Wacha Mr. Speaker ndio kusema nini? Mimi mimi sikuji hapa kudeal na kitu nakuja kuniambia ati yo mimi sikutakuja hapa na documents. In fact hapa bunge Mr. Speaker kuna time tulikuwa na fight for activists hapa. The human rights tulikuwa na kuja na document. Naona hapa Franka kikuja hapa president wa bunge anakuja na documents ametoka nayo kotini. Anawapatia hapa. Wewe kukuja kutuambia vitu umesikia kwa huko pale watu wanasoma gazeti na kupiga viatu rangi kukuja kutuambia hapa my friend tulienda shule hatukikuja hapa kukuja tu kuangalia vitu watu wanasema stories za place watu wanapiga viatu rangi na kusoma gazeti wacha huko adani amekuja hapa hakuna pesa tutatengeneza We unapiga kelele hujawahi panda ndege ujui utapanda ndege lini unapiga kelele hapa na mimi za speaker mimi nasema kwa ukweli mimi sitaki kufurahisha mtu hapa mimi sitaki kukuja kufurahisha mtu hapa mimi si hata nafurahisha mtu hapa ya pili Juzi nilisema Mr. Speaker hapa watu walikuwa wananiambia ati yo mara nisiseme former deputy president mara nisiseme nini Mr. Speaker si hao wanyamazi niwaambie vile tuko na former deputy president Sisi former deputy president Rigathe Gashagwa nampa pole zangu tena namwombea quick recover um, former deputy president Nimesikia kuna shida ya hat kidogo sijui hat imekataa kupam blood but hizo ni kawaida za dunia hata mimi naweza nishika But ningependa kumwambia de, former deputy president usikuwe na stress. Hii vile ulikuwa natuambia last year lazima tujipange at G4S vile ulikuwa naambia uhuru Kinyata hata wewe jipange na kuna we, sijui West Fargo iko hapa kuna G4S pia ukitaka kuna zingine wanaita wanaita eh hey, Lovington zote unaweza chukua. Na hii kiti in fact kizi ni seasonal. Ukidhani hii kitu ni permanent ndio watu wanakuja hapo wanasema oh kabila I respect Sajin Tatatama hapa. Na sisi tunanga shida. Mr. Speaker tuwezi kukua saa zile tunaenda kupiga kura tunakumbushwa ati wewe ni mkikuyu. Ati sisi watu wa gema tukiingia kwa debe. Tukiweka tunachagua president. Tukikuja, tukikuja Mr. Speaker, tukikuja after Messi imekuwa wanatuambia tuwache kabila. Saa zile tukienda kupiga kura mbona msiwahi tuambia tuwache kabila? Tuone hata kama Mount Kenya wanaweza kawana mara mbili vile walio wanafanyanga. Unajua hii tukianza kuongea mambo ya kabila Walio na wakisi ndio wanafaa kuongea hapa because wao bora wameweka kura wameweka lakini mkikuyu ama mjaluo ama mkale ama yeyote asikuja hapa kutuambia story ya kabila na mimi zaspika mimi kuja kusema sasa hizi hata Raila kama atakuja kusimama 2027 mimi kwanza kura yangu nampatia Raila kama jaluo na yemjue hiyo hiyo nampatia kama jaluo hiyo ni reason ya kwanza ya pili ya pili nampatia kama ule jamaa anajua kitu inafaa kufanywa kwa hii country. Kwa sababu sasa hizi mtu akikuja kutuambia Mr. Speaker nilipita hapa mchana nikasikia mtu anasema oh Raila Odinga ndiye ameleta hizi shida zote. My friend, 
Railo dinga si bibi, baba ya mtu ama bibi ya mtu. Railo dinga liko kwa debe na ye mwenyewe liamuka akaenda kapigia wili amrutu kura. Wili amrutu lazima amalize tano. Hata kama rigazi atamaliza. Na ye ni uchungu lazima wameze. And we are there to protect William Ruto. With our funding, with our emotions, with our, in everything. We let go up. Unajua saidi watu wa mikasirika na mimi. Na William Ruto lazima malize. Na hii, hii Mr. Speaker, hili wengine waonge, hii seven term limit. Unajua, ungekua mbunge, ungetaka hiyo seven term limit yende. But kwa sababu njini mjawai kuwa na wabunge. Na mjawai kuwa na mbunge kwenyu. And you are not planning to have one. For now. Na, naona kama itakuwa mbaya sana. But kwa wabunge wenyewe, ni mzuri. So mimi na malizana kwa iyo, 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 iyo manene ya seven term limit hivi. Government ikiamua kufanya kitu. Ile sirikali na wambianga. Kama njini vile njini wote, muna niangalia dizi watu wa kamera yote. Njini ni wenye inchi. We, wana inchi. Kuna wenye inchi wale wana muanga. Kama wengine walikuwa nasema oo. Oh, Sijui tumehack jenzi wengine hapa, tumehack sijui system ya senate, ya kuleta usiji uh, opinion na nini. Iyo ni yenyu, iyo kitu tafanya vile tunata? Tu, uh, ni sawa, ni sawa, wakikuyu watakuja kuongea kwa niyabe ya wakikuyu, siya tituwache kabila. Sisi nasema seven term limits, if the government or the MPs, they are going to work to us. If they promise, kwa sababu sisi wanaiji ndio tukuna shida. Sisi ndio tunaskalet, hizi vitu nasikianga o oh, mara siyasa sahi. Sa hizi munafraia hapa, tukianza kuongea story ya shaf, njini wate mtamuka hapa muende. Tukianza kuongea story ya barabara, njini wate mtatoka hapa. Tukiongea rigiji, munataka kuka. William Ruto, munataka kuka. Railo Dinga, munaka. Sasa hii ya seven time limits pia ni ya siyasa. Tutaka, tusonge, tuone kama ni mzuri, bada tuwezi ya mua. Kama ni mzuri, itaendelea. Na kuna kitu mtafanya. Kwa yo machache, Mwendele na mani na mwendele. Thank you, thank you very much. Mimi yangu ni machache. I'm going to be very categorical. One, one, we have to ensure as a people, we are organized on how we do our things. Nini ni najaribu kusema. Ukiangalia every policy, ambazo mweshimi wa rais na his government wamekuja nazo, amejaribu kukuja na new blueprint zake. Kama vile waenga wanasema, if you are planning to fail, fail to plan. Na kweli mandugu zangu, wesi tekeleza jambo lolote bila mpangili. Usi ni kweli. Na wakati mutu yote amepewa madaraka, anakuja na sessional paper zake. So mweshimewa rais lazima kuja na flagship project zake. Kama hii affordable housing, sa hii anadil na healthcare, and is doing upgrading on our facilities through concession. Kama hii ya adani. Ninini najaribu kusema? Sisi wachache ambao tumepewa nafasi kuinterrogate what the government does because si kukote wanashugulika hata na serikali inafanya nini hata mwingine ukimuliza leo juu ya dani hata elewi ya dani ni nini tunaelewana my friends so kwangu mimi najaribu kusema lazima sisi wenyewe tujiulize wewe mahali uko kikada ya, ya uongozi uko wapi where do you belong are you kwa subjects ama wale wamepewa jukumu la kuongoza because at the end of the day, Ruta akienda na all those things mnataka. Mutakuja kusema hajafanya lolote kwa hile muda amepe, amepewa. And there is a way also how we do things. Kitu hata ija, aja, watch a ground kama ndega ija, aja take off. Iyo kitu iko kotini. Sometimes, sa zingine tunakuja hapa na tunaongea. My friend, sometimes I get perplexed. Uwa na shanga. Because utakuta mtu anaongea kitu, ato ukimfuatilia unajaribu kujiuliza, uyu mtu akili ni timamu. Meaning this guy has never taken time to interrogate the subject matter he or she is talking about. Kwangu mimi nasema, in our constitution, Ruto has five years, mkimpenda atena mutamuongeza, msipompenda ataenda nyumbani. Lakini kwa sahi, how will we judge him and his government? Ni yale mambo analeta, ikifika 2027, ni jukumu letu tuseme, ulikuja na adani, it didn't work. Ulikuja na health setup, it didn't work. So go home. But hii utaratibu yetu, anything ikiletwa tunapinga. I don't think we are heading toward the right direction. And that's why sometimes mimi usema, mimi usema, professionally, you'll say somebody's giving direction. 
But in unprofessional, uncouth word, you'll say that person is dictating. Mimi upendanga dictators. Kwa sababu hata kwa kukuna maneno mengine usiposkuma, hiyo boma kuna mali naenda. Una watoto, kila mtu anataka zake, mama anataka zake. But the moment kuna fail imetokea, mme fail, lawama wana kuekea. Hakuna kitu ulifa, ulifanya. So, tupeane mweshimiwa rais na fazi zake, afanye hizo pusi anafanya. Kama zitaleta faida itulete. Kama italeta, we have the, the 27th kuongea. But hii maneno mengine tunaleta mingi. Mimi kwangu naona haitusaidi. Nikikuja on the other side. Sisi wa Kenya ndiyo tunafanya hizi blunders. Like mimi from where I stand. Sieti wa Kenya wanapenda ruto. Waja nienda hata luo nyanza. Sieti wa jaluo wanapenda ruto. But the laws are exercising Faraday's second law. Ambo inasema active and reactive forces are equal but opposite. Because ikifika yangu napinga. Sasa ikifika yako napinga. Sieti kwa sababu ni mzuri. Wakati wawote, tukitaka kukaa, unakuta anything going to luo nyanza, our brother from Murema wanapinga. Unaelewa? Na atutaki kuongea hizi vitu. Ukianza kuongea mtu anasema we ni mkabila. The moment yangu napinga, we yako ikikuja utafikiri nitaunga mkono aje. So mimi nasema, tujaribu tusaidiane kwa muongozo mwafaka, tujengane kama jamii. Because kama biashara tunafanya pamoja. I know of kikuyu gentleman. Gari yake haizi peana mkikuyu mweza kata kama ni mechanic. Hata ata tumana tikiti, mjalua toke from luo nyaza, akuja mpatie yu gari. Na hizo ndiyo gari unakota vijana wengi wa jaluo mechanics. Wanaenda nao kwa mechi ya gor. Kamu mwai kuona, hizo mechi zikiwa zinachezwa, magari ni mingi ndogo. Hizo magari zikota of them are kikuyu vehicles. Unanielewa? Ikuja mambo ya social life, atuna shida. Sahi tunaishi, utakuta three quarters of the houses we are staying are the cukes. And we, 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 nini, we deal with them in a very good way. You have a landlord mkikuya mkosani. Ni uishi pale umlipe. In fact, at, at most of them are even more friendly than that ukipata landlord amao si mkikuyu. Unanielewa? Lakini ikikuja siyasa, tunaleta vitu hakuna. Mimi nasema hivi. Umbilangu kwa mandugu zangu from central Kenya. Umbilangu tu. Yale mambo amu kupata kwa uongosi ya Kenyata. Na amu kupata ya Kibaki. Na amu kupata ya Uru. Learn to live with hali ambao hiko. Hii mambo ya entitlement muna jisi everything ni enu muache. Na mkiacha hii nchi chaenda vizuri. Lakini msipoacha hiyo. I'm telling you for free. <laughs> Kuna kitu hili nisangaza. A whole deputy president impeachment inapangwa pale. Na tau ni metulia ni kama njuka ya mtoto mdogo. Buwana, muna ishi wapi? Huh? I'm not inside you but I'm telling you how things are done. Aya, ni kitu hiko imilimani court. Inaitwa Mlimani ama Kilimani. A whole deputy president anakaa pale na mtoto wake na malala. Na proceeding inaendelea pale. Then hapa mkikuja mnatuambia mtatujua tutawajulia wapi? Huh? So mimi nasema I'm not saying watu wapigane, but kuna maneno mengine give merit where it is due. If you know, if today today you know Raila is a factor in this country, tuanze kuheshimiana na tusaidiane. Because mimi hata naamini, hata ukiongea uki uki na Raila kwa kina, JDU support gachagwa ende. Honestly speaking, hata kuambia inyewe, Israeli ende, lakini, kwa sababu, wacha iwe hivo. Unanielewa? So, mimi najaribu kusema, sisi wanainchi, let us, kuna Kaisa's concept, eh? muende mfanya research on what the policy of Kaisa says. Let us learn, to accommodate the progressiveness of a concept. Jambo lolote kiansishwa. Lazi masisi tuwe watu, ambo tunaimiliki kuanza, then kama kuna msasa tutafanya badai. I'm, I'm, to, I'm najaribu kusikia mambo ya funding model. The way people are placed in bands. Huh? This band concept, tunatipinga for, for nothing. Let us wait, we ukiwa slotted on a wrong band. It is an exclusive case. And a pile, it is not castles of stones. Utasaidika. Sasa we unapila nduru hapa juu ya bana na hata una mtoto dinasari. Huh? Wengine wana watoto huko. If you slot me on a band that is not working, I go and lodge my complaint. Ando watanisikiza. 
they'll justify for me ni vipi nime justify kuwa kwa hiyo band na tunasaidiana tunaelewana tukikuja mambo ya healthcare tunakasifu mambo ya sha lakini ukiangalia wewe ambao unapiga nduru sana hata hata mshara ama pa capita yako ipiti 20000 yet yule anapata 20 million inatakana aweke almost 800000 pale ikutibu na hata akilipa hii hata aenda hapo because kuna some of them who believes akiwa mgonjwa ni awe lifted hata tibiwa hapa atatumia insurance zake na wewe ambao hiyo kitu itakusaidia kama mtu wa chini unapinga let us learn to accommodate new concepts na tupeane viongozi nafasi wa implement their flagship projects iki fail is up to them haya do you know kuna major projects or roads or bridges imewahi kujengwa inchi zingine zilijengwa hata wengine wetu hatukua tumezaliwa through concession hii mnaita ppp and you understand kwamba inalipwa huh? lakini tunapiga nduru hata mtu akisikia unashindwa utatoa milioni kufanya hiyo mimi naamini umoja wetu ndio nguvu yetu so kama ita, iyo pesa itakuwa pull together to itusaidie so be it lakini mimi nasema hata mimi ningekuwa ruto kuna maneno mengine siwezi kaa nibembeleze because at the end of the day i know nikishatumia kufua kutekeleza mtakuja kupenda eh? kenya sio that way thank you bwana speaker